do we really need different color sets or color themes to create a fun single stretch of mobile designs or an or create an application or website actually not you can create an app with just single color so that is considered as monochromatic color theme how to get them so if you are selecting a single color which is called a primary color and from that you can get different shapes and tints by increasing the brightness and decreasing the brightness so i think you have already tried out decreasing the opacity or increasing the opacity to get the uh, different shapes of output of the same color so in this video we are going to see how you can create design with just single color by using the monochromatic rule let's get into the video here it is monochromatic color scheme what's the easy ways to create we can we have seen a lot of designs i've done with just a single color it can be a, a major primary color and then uh, from that itself we have converted the secondary and tertiary color but how in what ranges the color would have taken so that's what we are going to look into this video for that we just need to pick the major color first it can be it is considered as hue hue is nothing but a uh, pure color pure form of color it can be either a green a blue or like whatever you do take as a uh, color a primary color is considered as hue and uh, there is no shades or lights brightness will be in normal stage but there is no more contrast and everything so it's, it's it will be in a base color so like adding black or adding whites will form the different shades of it this is a pure hue color this is what my primary color i have taken for an example so once that has been taken next what we need to do is we need to take the step two is make 10 copies of your main color so what we can do here is copy this and then paste it here make 10 copies first okay so now i have 10 colors of it if you go here and then check it like i think usually it will be in x codes x code is 6 8 8 9 4 e my x code color so you just have to go to hsb where you'll be seeing the brightness so b stands for brightness let's take all the ellipse and paste it here step 3 is to change the hsb's b b stands for brightness as i said this is b b is 54 now let's take the first one and then change the brightness of it let's change it to 5 or 4 let us change it into black and then let's give it 14 24 34 44 this is 54 and this is 64 it is becoming light as you see 74 84 94 so this is the lightest shade of our uh, hue color and this is the darkest shade so this can be considered in some shades as we have added dark colors and uh, made darkness and brightness to it now the step four is pick colors accordingly so from here i'm going to take a few of my favorite colors like whatever you want like which you whichever you like to use in your designs This is nothing but out of layout and just using the layouts of it. So I have these mini colors. Now, uh, which of the colors that I can take is my usual color. And this one is also I like and I think a dark shade of it. Yeah. You can maybe choose between which one you like. Okay, these are the major colors that I'm going to take. Uh, so maybe you can take for... Take whichever three colors that you like, which can be in bit contrast as well. And next is how to apply in the designs. So 60% of the dominant hue you should take and 30% of the secondary color and 10% of the accent color. So I'm taking all this three. You can take 60% of it, 30% of the secondary color and then accent color. Like from this three, you can take most of the color in this way and 30% of, I mean, uh, it's not about the color shades or colors opacity. It's about how how much you can use in the website. So that's what um, in the designs is somewhere like how much you can use it. That's what I have taken. These three colors I have chosen from here, and then uh, I have made this design. So this is I've used the same uh, monochromatic colors, same green with different shades and different tints. So this is how it is looking like. Let me show it. Okay, once you choose this, let me show you the designs that I have done. So here it is. You can maybe, I've used the 3D illustrations here, uh, which is 
for plants then you can also use like based on what you uh what do you want to have in your application you can use either 2d or 3d illustrations that's yours i i just use it for like attractive purpose so that's how we'll be using the mono colors we'll be creating the monochromatic designs and color themes thank you so much for watching i hope this video was helpful if you have any doubts you can put that in the comment section you can try it out and let me know how it works bye, -bye.